be aware of the situation, that we are two wins away to make history and uh, that's uh, why we play, why everybody signed for Fenerbahce this year and um, as I said before, we are very excited and we just would like to start now, uh, we have to wait a couple of days more. First Final Four, nobody expects us to, to be one of the favorite teams this year. It's a great opportunity uh, and we can put pressure on us. We just have to, to enjoy, to play like we've been playing all year, be ourselves and, and try to, to win this title. We're flying back in the Final Four in Berlin. It's always a fun excitement. Uh, this year, I feel like we're just confident. Not, not really excited, not really happy to be here, but I think we're just real confident to be here. So hopefully we get this year. My first Final Four, hard work all year paid off, and uh, we are very excited to be here. Yeah, Borussia has a lot of experience, and he's transferring his energy and his, uh, his wiseness uh, so that we are ready for uh, Friday's game. Most of the time I've been in my room resting and taking what was going on in the news of Euroleague Awards. That's it. Sometimes we take the PlayStation because Draper, Singleton, Kaluskin, they like, they love to play. Stay off my feet, um, trying to listen to whatever hardcore music I can. One of the most important factors about this practice uh, today is just to get a feel for the rim, the arena, um, to get with the guys and go over a little X and O's uh, that the coach had prepared us for. Um, but most importantly, uh, most importantly is the fact that uh, as, as a team, you get to get, it, get in that last huddle before the game, the day before the game, and you look each other in the eyes and you basically tell each other that we're going to do this together and we're going to win the Final Four. So that's probably the, the most important thing about this practice. We've been practicing with energy to to get ready mentally and the body to to play a tough game. You can see there's a lot of media around and a lot of things happening. Then everybody feels good. Everybody is, is uh, excited to play this game. Uh, I think we are focused too. We had a good practice. We 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 uh, pl we saw their their systems. Uh, we played on. A, we worked on our game too. I think we have a good sensation in, uh, to play in this game in this gym. Stay all, all day in the hotel is just to have a sweat and uh, try the court, uh, do our, our refresh our sets. Not nothing special, but just a little bit. Uh, basically, the most important thing is attached with the court. Yes. A little bit nervous, but that's that's normal. Uh, it's like this before, before every game, but uh, we're used to it, so we, we approach every game the same way. And uh, more more excitement, more excitement.
a, of course, a crucial game, but we have to approach it like how we are doing all year. We have to go out and play hard as a team, together. We have to stay in the game plan, okay? And do not give up at any time of the game, guys. Finally getting to the final, uh, my fourth time. My fourth time uh, I feel like we need to win one more. That's our point. We want to win one more and get a championship. Um, I've seen that desire, that fire, uh, that decisiveness being being ready. We hesitate a lot in the first quarter. We were just reacting and not acting. And uh, defensively, we were, uh, let's say, one second back in every action. And offensively, we didn't actually fit well. We, we, are, we were not decisive. I think we compete well in the three last quarters, but uh, it wasn't enough. Well, now it's a moment everybody uh, wanted to be in the final, of course. We know it was hard, and for us, it was a uh, great uh, achievement to get to the final four. Uh, but now, like I said, we're, we're sad as a team. But some days when we were resting at home, we realized that we did something great. Yeah, I think we we fought the whole game. In some moments of the game, dominate game. We were a little bit nervous. It was the key to make subs to get uh, the overtime because we were um, uh, Victoria was leading. A little bit. We were four or five minutes ahead, and we made stupid mistakes.
that's the moment now of the season. And, uh, uh, we, we came here to play the final, to hopefully to win the final, and now we're in the final, we want to play the final. Another tough game um, against another very good team. Um, nothing, it's going to be a final, going to be a strange game, but we have, to, we have to be ready, of course, and to react to what Seska is going to prepare for us. Uh, Fenerbahce, uh, we don't know yet, we haven't played this in the season. Uh, our coaching staff do a good job watching film, we watch a lot of film, and uh, all we want to do is win one more. So, first thing that my assistant coach is doing in putting the, in the locker room, it was one more, all, all the languages. One more game. They have this in the locker room. So everybody understand this. Thirteen years and five year league titles together. And now you will face uh, the best man from your wedding on uh, the other bench in the championship games. What are your thoughts right now? Well, if you put it like that, like yes, uh, the, 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 um, the human relation and everything, the family relation, it looks kind of strange. But, uh, but uh, you know, after the hugs and after the good luck for the beginning of the game, when, when the ball goes in the air, each of us uh, will try to help his, his own team to win the title. The challenge is over there big, either for, for CSK, uh, uh, either for, for Fenerbahce. And the fact that uh, both of you can maybe read each other's minds a little bit more than most coaches because you've coached together for so long, uh, could it have an effect on the game? You'll be trying to think what he's going to do next and he will do the same for you? Yeah, okay, we know each other very good, but the thing, and I know Dimitris and also myself, we'll try to prepare some some things in this level to surprise opponent team is very difficult, but uh, going back to our last year that we worked together, 2012, is obvious that in game of CSKA some new things like is in game of my team Fenerbahce, so will be very interesting for sure tomorrow. your side something that I'm sure that you have. Every one of you, you have a lot of character inside you. And because of this character, we are not here. And I want from your side to go out and to show this that you have inside. Character. This is the, 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 the key to the right. Let's go. I don't want to see any, any doubts uh, on offense. When we have a shots, when we have an open looks, need to be protected, need to be supported actually by at least two players over there. It's us. We're going to go over there and we're going to do it, no matter what.
Apache Istanbul made a fast start behind Luigi Dottomi. And the second was completely dominated by the Russian team, going into the interval with a 20-point lead. After an even third quarter, Fenerbahce launched a spectacular comeback in the final period, gradually reducing the deficit until Bobby Dixon's triple tied the game in the last minute. We knew we were going to make a comeback. Coach told us at halftime we were going to make a comeback. Tough moment, a lot of pressure, worried, um, but we got, a, we got a real good team, we got a real good coach. And uh, we did a real good job of, of maintaining that. Uh, Costa Slukas' free throws that then sent Fenerbahce ahead. But Victor Kriapa forced overtime with 1.3 seconds remaining. Ducolo, who scored 10 of his 22 points. 96, 101.